So today we're going to be installing Proxmox virtual environment inside of Proxmox. First let's go to uh, the Proxmox website. Uh, click on virtualization. We'll just go over the requirements needed uh, for the device that you'll be using. Alright, so here uh, minimum hardware is going to be a 64-bit CPU, uh, an Intel VT or AMD V capable CPU, and a minimum one gig of memory, a hard drive, and one NIC. Remember, remember these are just the minimums. Proxmox has a recommended hardware, uh, so memory of minimum of two gigs. And another one that's pretty important is the uh, solid state drive. Uh, for storage. Alright, we'll go ahead and go through the installation. So go up here to downloads, Proxmox environment, ISO images. This version is going to be Proxmox VE 7.2 ISO installer. So go ahead and hit download there. And uh, while that's downloaded, you're going to need a way to flash your flash drive. So I use Belina Etcher. You can use something like Rufus uh, if you want to. Uh, so go ahead and get this installed. Put your storage device in. So you can use any flash drive. Click flash from file. Hit open. Target. This one's a PNY USB 3.2. Click that. Select and then hit flash. And then once that gets Done. Go ahead and remove the flash drive. So if you are using a old laptop or desktop, you're going to make sure you enter the BIOS. Uh, so you can go ahead and Google that for your device. To enter the BIOS on this device I have at home, uh, you press the F2 key during startup, and then uh, this screen will pop up. You go down to your UFI firmware settings. Uh, this one already has Proxmox installed, so that's why I had to do that. You go over to boot boot option number one and select your flash drive. Uh, make sure you have your ethernet cable plugged in before you save and exit uh, so your device can connect to the internet. And this is exactly what you would see on your end if you are doing this on a laptop or desktop. So go ahead, install Proxmox VE. All right, just gonna go through all the setup. Hit OK. I agree. Uh, make sure the target hard disk is the one you want. This one has that 32 uh, gigabyte disk that we selected. Next. Uh, country, I'm in the United States. Time zone, I'm in the East Coast. So I'm going to pick New York. Uh, keyboard layout for me is US English. Hit Next. Uh, type in a password, confirm that password, type in a email, uh, you don't have to put your actual email but you can't leave this, if you hit next it'll show email address is invalid so you can just put in a fake one, I'm going to put mail at mail.com, hit next, alright so here you have your host name which you can set to uh, whatever you want. Uh, make sure your IP address um, is correct. So this one's 192.168.1.105. Uh, that is the correct gateway and the correct DNS server uh, for my settings. Next, it's just a summary of what we did. Hit install. All right, so you're going to go through the installation. Uh, this might take a second. All right, once your installation is complete, you'll get this installation successful page. All right, on this screen, you go ahead and hit enter. All right, and now your Proxmox virtual environment is up and running. Uh, URL you're going to need to go to. So this one's 192.168.1.105 at port 8006. So I'm going to log into that to show you guys. I'm going to be using uh, my Kali Linux machine because that is the one that is on the same uh, VLAN as the Proxmox I just installed. So go ahead and open up any web browser. I'm going to be using Firefox for this. 
and then type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and then your IP address so 192.168.1.105 this can be at port 8006 hit enter uh, you'll see this warning page uh, don't worry just hit advanced scroll down accept risk and continue so you'll get to the login page the username is going to be root and password is going to be the one you set during setup hit login don't save you'll get this no valid subscription pop up go ahead and just hit ok all right and then this is your user in uh, for proxmox so here your data center your node uh, which is called pve will do a couple things that helped me when i was going through this so go to data center hit storage I'll notice two things so you'll have a local in a local LVM storage. Go ahead and delete the local LVM. We don't need that one. Hit remove. Yes. And then just to show you, so if you go to summary, you'll see that the hard drive a space that we had, we had 32 gigs when we first set it up. Then this is only showing 7.53 gigs available of space. And then we're going to resize in the shell so go to the shell and then you're going to type in lv remove forward slash dev forward slash pve and forward slash data it's going to ask if you really want to hit y all right that is done then you're going to type in lv resize tack l plus 100 percent free forward slash dev forward slash pve forward slash root all right now that's done we're going to resize the local storage so resize to fs forward slash dev forward slash mapper forward slash PVE tag root. All right, and that should be done. Uh, so how you can tell, uh, make sure you have your node selected, hit summary, and then see it opened up more hard drive space, so closer to that 32 gigs of space uh, we allotted it. All right, and a couple other things. If you are using a laptop, I found the uh, few commands helpful because then this way you can close your laptop uh, and the, it still stay on and the screen will shut off so you don't burn out your screen. So go back to your shell. You're going to type nano forward slash etc forward slash system d forward slash login d dot conf. Alright, and then you're going to scroll down using the arrow keys. Find where it says handle lid switch equals suspend. So you're going to comment this out. Change suspend to ignore. Then you're going to find handle lid switch docked. And you're going to comment this out. This one is already set to ignore, so that should be control O to write it out. Hit enter and then control X to get out. And then we're going to reset uh, that system so you're gonna system ctl restart system d tac login d dot service all right so that should be restarted and then the next command is going to be uh, to be able to put your screen to sleep so you're going to type in nano forward slash etc slash default forward slash grub. All right, and then you're going to go down to grub command line Linux, type in console blank equals 300. So this is just saying that your screen will go blank after 300 seconds. All right, after that, you're going to hit control O, enter, 
control X and then we're going to make sure that gets updated so you're going to type in update grub now you can make your virtual machines your containers I'm gonna be coming out with another video showing you guys how to do that